I almost squished this little fella, and he's rolling down the wa uh, road towards us. You can see it's quite a large dung beetle. And look at all the little, those may be stingless bees, I wonder, that if they aren't following that ball around. Oh, well, yes, that's very loud. You heard Byron calling Aubrey, of course. And there's lots of little critters on the ground. Now, I wonder where this little one is going to take it. I think that whatever those little insects are flying around the dung beetle, I think they're just trying to get the moisture that's coming off of that dung. Well, they're going to have a tough time, though, because it's now covered in sand. Look at them. They're following this dung beetle. Now, he doesn't seem to have a lady friend, so perhaps maybe maybe they've already started digging balls and, and sort of laying an egg inside the ball. Careful. And that's maybe where she is. Sometimes that happens. Normally, once he finds a mate and he starts rolling balls, he'll take it to an area where he'll bur uh, burrow a whole lot of balls and he remembers exactly where to go and that's perhaps where the female is waiting with the others. You're not having much luck today, fella. Where are you off to now? Are you done with that ball? Does it upset you too much this afternoon? Oh, my goodness. It's, it's like it's uh, drank an energy drink or something. <laughs> they always look like they're, they're going in fast forward with every, every sort of movement that they do and push. And I just think it's amazing. And they have to be some of the most patient and persistent creatures out there. I've watched dung beetles go up the steepest of steep hills. Let's see if it's able to push it up here. Get almost three quarters of the way up and then unfortunately roll all the way down. Now, it seems as though there was a buffalo walking there, which is making it quite difficult for this dung beetle as it's fallen in its track. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Fred. No, I think he's trying to get underneath. Are you trying to get underneath or are you just going to bury it right there? I need to go and investigate. I'm jumping out the vehicle. I shall see you now. I'm going to go and have a look and see what this dung beetle is doing. No, I've lost it. Where did it go, David? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I was watching it on the monitor, of course, and then I forgot where it went. Are you just going to dig your, your home here? It looks like it. No? Are you trying to get underneath? I think that's exactly what this little dung beetle was trying to do. Because I think it was trying to get underneath it so that it could push it up and over this little ledge. And it doesn't seem to be doing too much of a good job. Come on, it's not a steep hill. You can do it. I don't want to help you out because you need to learn. You need to get strong. Are you looking for another route? And that's all this little thing will do is it will go round and round and round until it can find a spot where it can indeed cross. Now, you're not very good at this. This isn't a particularly talented dung beetle, unfortunately. Like I said, I've seen them going up hills that are like this with absolutely no problem. And this one is having a very hard time with just the smallest dung beetle. Well, I suppose we should probably leave him and let him carry on with his day. Good luck with your adventure. I suspect that uh, that dung beetle is going to be there for quite some time though. It uh, seems to be a, quite a big challenge.